Hey guys, check out my new toy. Gentlemen, this figure deserves a special award. It's called the Poo Poo Stinky Award because this figure is a piece of sh**. Today we have a review of the Fig Arts Mini Chainsaw Man, aka Denji. This is just too cool. I guess they're trying to compete with Nendroid, which is totally fine. Let's take a look at it. Oh god, there's two of them now! Schwack! Okay, these are crappier than Nendroids, but they're still kind of cool. <laughs> this is a $30 figure, and I'll tell you right now, that's a damn shame, because this figure could have been so amazing, but they fumbled it greatly with having barely any articulation. Sure, the feet can move and whatnot, the hands can move, the head can move, but no elbow joints? No knee joints? The stuff falls off relatively easily? God damn it, I told you not to start without me! I'm not gonna lie, the paint apps are done really well on this. The nice glossy finish leading to the sparkly metallic finish. The really good matte finishes. All the little tiny detailing on it is really, really nice. However, this is $30, and this is $10, and they're really not too far off. His head does move, which is kind of funny, but it's like, who cares? Like, he does come with an extra pair of hands to where they're bending. This could have been avoided if you just made articulate elbows, like that Chaozu. It's not the first time you've done something with SH Fig Arts where there are articulate elbows that are this tiny. Let's compare a Nendroid to a Fig Arts Mini. As you can tell, the Nendroid's bigger, it's cuter, it has a lot more going for it, and there's also a lot more accessories in the Nendroid. But this is cooler, the aesthetics are nicer, and maybe the paint application's a bit better than the Nendroid in some cases. Either way, tell me which one you like the most, the Nendroid line or the Fig Arts Mini line. If you can beat them, join them! I'm going to rate this a 3 out of 10. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.